What's up guys? So today I would like to explain you about how to edit uh, the footage from the Canon RF5C camera in Adobe Premiere and uh, just play it through the DVR player. As you know, the DVR player support right now the Canon Duo shelling, so actually you don't need to do a really tangro conversion. So you just can do simple editing, do color correction, the noiser if you need it, and just, you know, put video into your headset and deploy it. So here is my Adobe Premiere project. Uh, I can share the project with you guys through the Dropbox or something like this. So you can check the link in the description and uh, can use this project. So the little bit about the structure. So the, here is the camera folder. So here we will put the footage. Uh, here is the master folder. So here we have a master. The misc folder. Here we have some stuff for the project like DVR mask. Our correction layer, background layer for the intro, DVR intro, it video layer, so it's just you know, simple editing stuff. Uh, here we have a sound folder, so if you have extended with a microphone, you can put the sound in that folder, it's gonna be easier for you. And uh, here we have an output folder. Um, you know, I want to stop a little bit more the output, so I try a lot of like render options and uh, I think the footage from the R5 camera like R5C or just regular R5 camera is a little bit grainy kind of noisy you know especially if you shot at the dark dark lighting you know sometimes it can be kind of grainy and it's kind of normal because the R5C it's kind of first of all it's like a just cinema camera and it's kind of some digital noise kind of grainy for the for the movie, it's kind of good. Uh, the, each 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 camera developers have have a like a special noise. You know, it's like a movie camera, like a film camera. You know, but for VR, we want to avoid all kind of digital noise because in a VR we, we put the image so close, and the kind of this noise can be visible. So I recommend you to use the, some denoiser. Like uh, you can try the Red Gear denoiser or the Nick video. Nick video will be a little bit faster because they have a uh, kind of advanced settings when you can use your GPU, you know, a little bit more. So, and in this reason, I have a kind of two outputs. So the first output, uh, it's a kind of the basic, uh, basic video with the DVR mask, yeah. Lens mask, this uh, kind of effect. I, I'm gonna show you how to avoid the lenses on the side, so we're gonna mask it. The color correction layer is actually video, and the second uh, second output has only neat video. So let me explain a little bit how we're gonna work here. Here in the camera pod, I already have a footage, so we're creating new sequence. Yeah, so here I already have a proxy, so guys, don't forget to record internal proxy because if you want to render it after it can take a lot of time because the CRM files are so huge you know I recommend it you to use it internal proxy recording I'm not sure about RF5 but RF5C for sure you can do it into SD card so here I already have a footage so I'm gonna mute sound because I don't want to ruin your experience about this video so here it starts play some game so i'll create a sequence and i'm gonna call the sequence sequence one yeah and for example uh, i i have just only this test shot but for example you have a kind of couple more videos yeah so and you you want to create kind of like a sequence you know the first one, for example you playing football here then you go inside the room you know then you have uh, some for example drone footage i don't know but i i believe that some drones can handle like five with that uh, VR lenses. So, for example, we have a li little bit more footage. So, we're gonna create a couple more sequences. It's kind of same video inside, but we're gonna call it kind of sequence two and the uh, sequence three, for example. Yeah. So here, inside the each sequence, you can do kind of some simple editing. Yeah. For example, you wanna cut off that part. Yeah. Uh, then you wanna cut and go that part. So each sequence have a some correction, you know. So yeah, we have a three sequences here. So then next step, we open the master folder, and uh, here we have a Duo Master Air 52. I already have an intro here, so you can go in and uh, change it to your intro. If you have a just side by side video, so we just put this video here. 
if it's like a 6k or 4k you can just you know click right button and uh, for scale it to frame size or set to frame size you know uh, so I already have a dev into here and now I start putting the each sequences inside this master sequence so here we have a nested sequence where we have an intro in the beginning then have some videos yeah so you can uh, put uh, some transition here if you want it can be deep to work you know the, the why whatever uh, after that that master sequence uh, I already have it nested in inside the output folder so it's gonna be first output to go there so you see here I already have my master sequence so you only need the you know the cutting the wrong part here because we have a shorter version of this video and adjust this layer so only what you need you just need to adjust these layers in the can you first output sequence is ready so here we have a three more layers so the first layer it's a UVR mask it just you know it's just a simple mask it's actually don't do anything so it's just it's some cosmetic stuff so you can blur the UVR logo and put your logo you know because without that the video can just you know look kind of ugly a bit so next layer we have a link removal mask here and the last layer is just simple color correction so the let's go to the color correction first here in Lumity I already have a, the LUTs which was provided by Canon in an official website so here we shot the Canon Lock 3 that we, we convert this Canon Lock 3 to the just regular Rec 709 yeah and so uh, here is just a simple color correction so we can remove the proxy and you can see how loud it was so you can do some basic correction also that if you want to darker you know whatever here so you already have this color so well only what you need in this project you need the link the link the correct lot and uh, should work so that where it's a uh, lens removal layer go effect control so here we have uh, two effects it's both effects offset so technically how it works the first offset the covering this lens it's simple mask here and uh, how the offset work so they be kind of moving that part image on that side yeah you see so if i'm gonna move it so it's technically kind of image from that lens and here you can go a bit closer and uh, here you can match of the picture you see on the photo here now it's much and uh, the same way effect work on that side so uh, and uh, the same way the same effect you can use for the views camera and also for the z cam cameras it should work too so and it doesn't matter it's fisheye or just side by side picture if it's side by side picture it's uh, the same the same kind of type of work yeah so just you can copy that player to Ever you side, side by side video, you know, everything. Oh, yeah. And uh, definitely, yeah, so your video is ready. You can uh, go to the chat. You can render like one part here because the video is short right now. It's like 11 minutes, for example, yeah. So you can uh, export. Uh, so I recommend it to export it like uh, uh, ProRes 4 to 2 and uh we have this kind of preset i'm gonna share it with you guys yeah because i've asked into the forums and all people say that that the progress it's kind of must have for vr uh if you going next to the streaming or where, yeah so you can upload the progress into the vr into the youtube yeah but if you want to upload it directly through the headset i recommend you to use the uh, h265 because it's it's gonna be the same quality of picture just a little bit not that the big uh, data you know so we have uh, this preset for h265 yes so it should be hardware encoding but for some reason it, i cannot choose it when i uh, in a, the adobe premiere so if we go to the media encoder i can choose the hardware 
and it's gonna be ha harper encoding in a Z preset. Sorry about that. Uh, and it's kind of 200 megabits. I think it's kind of good option. You can go a little bit higher, but 200, like, kind of the, the focus quest, it's kind of, I think it's maximum level. Then the video start, you know, reaching, you know, if you want to play it directly from the headset. But here, for example, if your video is a little bit bigger, for example, it's one hour and then the file from that camera is kind of huge, you know, and uh, here for you guys, I have uh, this folder with chunks. So chunks, it's kind of the, all that sequence, but in a small pieces. So, because we have it just uh, 10 minutes, 11 minutes here. So it's kind of just first chunk. Yeah. But for example, here we have a, uh, like a, let's say let's just copy it in like uh, 46 minutes yeah so if you go here in the chunk 2 it's uh, uh first chunk 20 minutes second chunk 20 minutes third chunk uh, six minutes so you can export it like kind of pieces and uh, we're gonna share with you the ffm pack preset so after the chunk render you're gonna just you know the without the future rendering you're gonna just you know, put all three pieces together and one video without like it. Technically, it's the same time for render, but it's a little bit, you know, it's easy to control because the footage is huge and it's uh, it just can crash, and, you know, and if you have a small pieces, it's more reason to keep the render in a better condition. And uh, here I have a second output. So the, how I recommend it to work. I recommend it you to the render this first preset by ProRes 42. And then your video, when it's going to be ready, you can put into the second output. And here I have a neat video uh, where it just gives you the good denoise. And after that, uh, I recommend you to output it's like H265. So technically, only what you need to do in the end, in the file name, you have to add the RF42 uh, kind of tag in the file name and you can just, you know, go through the deal we are and uh, deploy that video uh thank you for your patience guys so i think this tutorial will be helpful for you sorry about my english but i try to do my best <laughs> uh let me know if you don't understand something i can explain you in the comment section and uh, you know the, have a good day thank you guys